Amande, welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to talk about very briefly about the current market situation, but more importantly about few projects I'm currently looking at. And also, why do I think that right now it's a really good moment to, to be looking into crypto and investing in crypto? Essentially, even though the market's been quite bearish for a while, I think the current phase is absolutely crucial for, for building life-changing wealth and really taking advantage of the next part of the market cycle. If you like those videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, please do check out the community section. So as usual in my market commentary videos, let's have a quick look at Bitcoin and the overall state of the cryptocurrency market. So probably the only good thing at the moment is, no, there are actually two good things. One is that 20 week SMA, so Bitcoin's bull market support band, is going down and it's currently just over $49,000. With Bitcoin currently trading just under $39,000, well, it's still about $10,000 short, but if we do have another strong move up, it's not impossible for Bitcoin to reach this level within potentially one or two really solid days. Of course, we may need to wait for those days for quite a while, but as this level is coming down lower and lower, there is some hope that we may, may be able to reach it relatively quickly. Another positive thing is if we look at our Heiki Nashi candles, weekly Heiki Nashi candles, actually this week's candle, and well, we still have a few hours left until the close of the week, but this week's candle so far is green. And this type of Heiki Nashi candle indicates that we may have a change of trend. So that is potentially quite optimistic and quite bullish sign. We did have similar situation here, and of course that didn't really amount to much. Then we had the opposite situation here with a red candle. So this may not necessarily be actually a change like indicating a longer bull market run like we had, for example, here or here. But nevertheless, it's quite an optimistic thing. On the other hand, though, if you look at Bitcoin uh, bull market support band, so our 20 week SMA, well, that's around 49K. We haven't really reached that level. However, the other often used level is the 21 week EMA. And Bitcoin got rejected from that level a couple of weeks ago. We reached it, in fact, we got within in inside that band uh, this week, but we got rejected again. And that's not great because that potentially may indicate that we may have another significant dip coming up. So the market is still very, very uncertain. And of course, any investments currently in, in crypto are very risky. The safest strategy would be to either just keep putting aside as much cash as possible to enter the market when the situation is a bit more clear, or DCA into Bitcoin or ETH or potentially some other top 10 or top 20 altcoins. And yeah, just wait for better, better times. With that being said, situation like this or the market conditions like this present some of the best buying opportunities. Last time when we were in a similar situation, we were in the summer last year, summer 2021. And I remember, for example, when I made the video about CD5 fund, which I made, I think, around September, October last year, a lot of people were sort of disappointed because, well, essentially CD5 fund is a launchpad in order to be able to participate or have guaranteed allocation, you need at least 1,000 tokens. And at the time, that was like $5,000 or more, which, of course, is quite a sizable investment. But if you got into CD5 during the summer of 2021, well, you could get those 1,000 tokens under $1,000. I think there was a time when you could get them for about $500. So what I'm trying to say here is that Although investing in times like this is extremely risky and can be quite scary, at the same time presents, well, some of the best investment opportunities because entry levels are really, really low and it's so much easier to make 10x or 50x or whatever from the current prices than from the prices when the market starts picking up as it did around 
let's say September last year, when we had confirmation that, well, okay, Bitcoin breached above the bull market support band. So that was like August, September. And we had a confirmation, okay, well, we have a bit, we have a bull run. Then we retested that level and held it. And then we had this massive run up. Of course, investing somewhere here was much safer, especially here when we actually tested and held that level was far, far safer than investing here. But of course, profits were much, much lower if you only started getting into projects somewhere here. So you have to balance the risk and, and the potential for gains. And of course, this is not something I can answer for you. It's absolutely not financial advice. Everyone has different um, risk tolerance. Everyone has a completely different financial situation and invests in crypto for different reasons and different amounts and so on. But it's just something worth bearing in mind. And I think the key thing at the moment is to find projects and areas of the sectors of the market which you are passionate about and stuff you really want to get into either now or in the coming weeks and months. And it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's something that works for you. So, for example, it could be something that has a lot of utility like Block Wallet, right? They just released a couple of days ago their mainnet wallet. I'm testing it now. I'm, I'm using it. Uh, I've made one video about this project before. I will be making another one soon. It's a good example of a project where they have some strong utility. The price is at the moment very, very low. Market cap is low. And yeah, it's something that's certainly worth investing in. Another option would be something like Everair, another project I covered multiple times on this channel. Another project with small market cap, it's a reflection token. So basically you hold this token and you get some BUSD rewards. And yeah, entry level is low. You earn passive income. It's a good option. Another similar, well, different option, but similar as in also an option to make passive income is something like strong nodes. The price, well, it started bouncing back recently, but if we look at the price overall, it's seriously down from its peak or even those smaller peaks here. So again, good entry point and good potential to to make some serious money if, if that's something you want to invest in. And then, of course, all sorts of gaming projects. If you look at my favorite list, whether there are bigger projects like Superfarm, Vulcan Forge, Remark, even CDFi, Thetan Arena, Veracity, and so on, all those prices are massively down from all-time highs or even where they were a couple of months ago. And then, of course, we have a lot of smaller projects, the Fine Up, Polka City, um, Altura, Cryo War, and so on. And although investing in those smaller and smaller cap projects and individual games is, of course, really risky, at the same time, well, entry level points are really, really good now. So it's not necessarily a bad idea to start DCing into them. Another project I just discovered and something that I really want to uh, bring to your attention is Communitas. As you may see, I actually added it to my list here. And this is something that a lot of you have been asking, those who watched my video about CD5 fund, essentially a launchpad, gaming launchpad, with lower entry threshold. And Communitas, um, it's a launchpad. And what's really cool about it is that you have guaranteed allocation regardless of the amount of tokens you hold. Basically, the allocation you will get is proportional to the, to to the amount of tokens you hold. So, of course, it still pays off to have a lot of those tokens. And, of course, um, if you hold only a very, very small amount of uh, COM token, then your allocation will be very small. But nevertheless, this is probably the best, the lowest entry point launchpad I've, I've seen so far. I'll be making another video probably even multiple videos about this project because I'm really passionate about it. I'm really happy I found it. And yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. So I just wanted to briefly mention it. 
And if you look at its market cap, it's not even $5 million. I mean, if this was to become the next, I don't know, CD5 or something like that, the potential here is absolutely epic. And that's just the token itself, let alone actually the opportunity to participate in IGOs, right? So what I'm trying to say is that there are plenty of projects out there which present really, really good buying opportunities. And one good thing about the current market situation is that you can invest relatively small amounts and you can still take relatively decent size position in those projects. I would definitely not recommend going all in right now in, in anything because it's just risky as hell. But it's not a bad idea to start DCAing into the projects you, you think that have potential and the projects you wanted to, to get into uh, maybe last during the last bull run, but you thought, okay, you missed up the, uh, you may start on the opportunity, and it's it's too late, they're too expensive, or the potential for gains is too small. We are back in that phase where we were essentially in the summer last year, and yes, of course, it's possible that we may have another dip, but nonetheless, it's I think it's really crucial to to stay in crypto and to stay active in, at times like this. Because what a lot of people do is that essentially when things turn bearish, they just exit the market. They may not necessarily cash out, but they, lost, they lose interest in it because there, is, there are no opportunities to, to make money in the short term. And actually, the current market presents some of the best opportunities we'll probably get in the next few months. If you enter it at the right time in the next days, weeks, maybe even months if it goes on bearish for a while. This is really the time when, when you can build your positions and then really get some solid profits once, once the market picks up. So yeah, just something worth bearing in mind. Another couple of projects I want to mention is Bit.Country, which I mentioned a couple of times before. They are releasing the token today, so you may want to keep an eye on this one. And Mavia. Uh, again, project I've talked about a few times. Uh, they had their NFT, their first NFT mint yesterday or the day before yesterday. Uh, it was their land and actually it performed really well. Depending on the rarity, it, the cost was either 0 0.3, 0 0.6 or 0 0.9 ETH for common, rare and legendary land. But as you can see, common land now sells for about one ETH. It was at some point over 1.1 ETH. Rare was around getting close to two ETH and legendary around four ETH. So if you participate in this one, it's, well, there was opportunity to make really good money there. I mean, at Mavia Land and I'm holding it. There will be staking opportunities. There will be, there's a lot more coming. So I'm really bullish on this one, but yeah, it just, shows that there are still opportunities to, to make money in the crypto and NFT space. You just have to find those projects which are doing really well at the moment. In, in NFTs, a lot of projects at the moment are not fully minting out. Profits on a lot of the projects are pretty much non-existent. But again, there are opportunities to actually enter some of the blue chip projects. You can buy network land below one ETH at the moment. You can buy Dodge Pound for about one ETH. You can get into Neo Tokyo for around, I think, three and a half, four ETH. So there are many opportunities there. And basically, it's just down to deciding what, what you want to focus on, where you want to allocate your resources, and, and yeah, just taking advantage of the current situation. So I think that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to mention those few projects I'm currently looking at and just mention and just talk about the current situation and my current strategy, which is very much just observing the market and deciding where it's worth allocating my, my funds. I'll be talking more about it in the coming days and weeks. And yeah, especially Communitas is one of the projects I definitely suggest that you check out because they do some really, really cool stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm massively bullish on this one. But yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I think the key thing is to stick around during times like this and take advantage of it because essentially that's, these are the opportunities to make really big life-changing money in crypto. 
not when everything is pumping and and you're just entering halfway through the pump but right now where pretty much everything is in the gutter looking into which projects have the most potential because of course some of them they will never actually pick up they will just stay in the gutter and that that will be the end of them to be honest i think most of the stuff especially in the crypto uh, sorry especially in, in the gaming and metaverse space i think most of the stuff will probably pick up because i expect there is going to be absolutely epic bull run when it comes to those type of projects but nevertheless some of them will just perform okay while others will absolutely moon so of course it's just you still have to find those which have the most potential but yeah i think that's it uh if you do have any questions any comments or you want to suggest any projects please put them in the comment section and yeah if you like this content as always please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time thank you for watching bye